Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. I want to say a pleasant good night to each and every one of you. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I would like to welcome you to my channel. Tonight I'm going to be sharing a quick and easy recipe for chicken kebabs and I'm going to be doing this in my oven. You don't always have to wait for a barbecue at summertime, but this can be done in your kitchen any season of the year in your oven. So if you wanna see how I'm doing this, come on down and let's get started. So to start with our dinner tonight, I'm gonna to be making some roasted potatoes to go with our chicken kebab. So I'm gonna, these potatoes are nice and smooth. I wash them and I'm gonna cook them with the skin. So we're gonna cut them into nice even pieces and let's go this big I'm gonna pre-cook them on the stove before we roast them potatoes are in the pot we're gonna add some water I'm gonna add a little bit of salt in here and we will cook this until it's halfway um, done, not fully soft and mushy. Now I'm gonna be preparing some red onions to add to our chicken kebabs. And I'm cutting them this size here. So we can have about the same size with our chicken pieces, like that. So I'm gonna finish cutting the rest of the onion. And I'm also adding some peppers to that. And I have red pepper, yellow pepper, and orange pepper. These are going to add some sweetness. The color is going to make it look nice. And it helps to hold up with the chicken when making the chicken kebab. So I'm going to cut about same size with the with the onions about here, like right in those grooves. And then we wanna take out all the seeds and the insides. And then we're gonna make nice little pieces like that. So I'm gonna start putting my chicken kebabs together. I have the chicken here. I'm using chicken breast thinly sliced. They're washed. And I have some red onions cut into pieces to match the chicken pieces. I have some red peppers and I'm using the different colors. And today I'm gonna be using some garlic salt. I'm gonna use, be using some lemon pepper, garlic powder. I have some dried Italian seasoning, some smoked paprika. I have black pepper and I have some Pink Himalayan salt. I will put my dry spices together and then I'm gonna show you how we put this bad boy together. I have all my spices here now into this bowl. I'm gonna mix them up. We wanna evenly combine everything and then I'm gonna start putting some black pepper in the chicken. nice amount you can use chicken thighs as well for this recipe today I'm using the chicken breast so I have a good portion here and now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna add my dry spices into the chicken I'm gonna keep a little bit for the potatoes. And I wanna mix that, the, all those spices in nicely in here. So we're gonna mix all that goodness up good. Mix in all that goodness. I think I'm gonna go in with my hands. And you just wanna make sure 
that every piece of the chicken is well seasoned. You can let leave this to marinate for a little bit. I think I'm gonna add some more of that dry spices here. Okay, so now we're gonna let it sit about 15 to 20 minutes so we can get all that goodness into this chicken before we put them together. Now I'm gonna start putting my kebabs together and I soak my skewer, I'm using wooden skewer. And I'm gonna use two because I wanna keep it nice and firm instead of having them hanging on one side. So I'm gonna start with a piece of the pepper. So I'm gonna put that in like this and I'm gonna go about this far because I want to hold the bottom when it's done and then I'm gonna do the same on this side and this is real fun job for me and then what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put piece of chicken and when you're making this you want to try to cut your chicken into thin strips so they can cook quick and evenly so a piece of chicken and then I'm going to put a piece of the onions and so we go in like that. We're going to go in like that with the onions and then we're going to keep repeating that process. A piece of chicken, <clears throat> a piece of onion and a piece of the pepper and that's building up our kebab plus flavor from the onion and the pepper so i'm gonna keep going at it and then i'll show you when i finish the first one so my potato is halfway cooked i'm gonna drain them out from the water and then i will show you the exciting part so our potatoes are ready. We're gonna season them. I'm gonna add some olive oil to that so we can have all the good ingredients sticking in to the potatoes. Plus it's gonna avoid the potatoes sticking to the bottom of the pan. And this would also add some real nice flavor to the potatoes, about a two tablespoon. I'm going to leave all the measurements in the description below. I'm going to be adding some salt, not a lot. And we're going to be adding some black pepper to that. Just to flavor up the potato a little bit. We're gonna add some garlic salt to this, give it some nice garlic flavor. And we're gonna add some dried oregano leaves. It's about a half a teaspoon of all the dried spices. And you can add anything pretty much to your roasted potato. I have some dried Italian seasoning here and I'm gonna go in with some paprika for a hint of heat and plus some color as well. And then we want to mix up these potatoes so we can get all that flavor mixed in well and the potato looks good. It looks good and it smells amazing. I'm going to pop this into my 350 degree oven just for a little until the potatoes have a nice roasted edges around them and then this will be good to serve up with our chicken kebabs. I can't remember if I mentioned why I'm soaking the skewers. It's because when I put them into the oven, I don't want them to burn. So that's the reason why I'm soaking them in some water. And this is how far I am now with the kebabs. I'm gonna keep going. I still have 
I go to way more to go, but they smell really, really nice in my kitchen. So here is all my beautiful kebabs. I made 10 tonight and they're looking beautiful. I like the colors that I'm seeing right now. So I just have a little bit more of the seasoning and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just sprinkle it on top of these guys over a plate here. So all the extra flavor won't go to waste. So I'm just gonna do that. And the reason why I'm cooking them like this on top of the baking dish because I don't want them to sit in the juice that it's cooking in. So I'm gonna cook them like this and whatever liquid falls out from the chicken, it's gonna go into the baking dish. So in 30 minutes or so, these guys will be ready. But that's not all because I'm gonna be adding some barbecue sauce as I'm cooking them. I'm gonna baste them with some barbecue sauce so they will be nice and juicy and moist when we're finished with them. And it's gonna be delicious after they're done. So our potatoes are done. I can still hear them sizzling. They look beautiful. We're gonna wait for our chicken now and then we will serve up soon. So 15 minutes in the cooking, I'm gonna baste them with some barbecue sauce. Because I'm cooking this kebab with chicken breast, I wanna keep it on the moist side. So that's why I'm brushing them with some barbecue sauce as I go. And you can use any flavor barbecue sauce of your choice. Today I'm using the regular chicken and rib barbecue sauce. You have to pick this one up. And then I'm gonna flip them and do the same on the other side so we can have an even coating. So I just baste these with the barbecue sauce and they're looking nice. I'm gonna put them back into the oven and we're gonna cook it for another 15 minutes and baste again. So here is our beautiful, delicious looking chicken kebabs. They have beautiful colors and they look so inviting i have enough for all my youtube family and friends come on down for your share and let's enjoy this delicious chicken kebab you don't always have to wait for summertime or for your outdoor barbecue to do this i did it right in my own kitchen oven and it was done perfectly well just as if we did it on a barbecue outside. So I'm gonna serve this up with some roasted potatoes and some roasted carrots. I'm gonna plate up soon, but before that, I have a success story to share. Our very own Jillian tried my recipe for baked potato with corned beef and she was very happy with the results. So I'm gonna post that right after this. So please keep those success story coming. I love when I see you guys try one of my recipes. So here is dinner, my friends. And it is a simple dinner but yet delicious and very beautiful to look at. So I'm gonna go in for a piece of the potatoes and the potatoes cook nice and perfectly soft and well seasoned. Cheers. Mm. Potatoes really, really soft and all that seasoning is coming through. And I did some carrots just the same way I did the potatoes so everything can have that same flavor going on 
and the carrot still have a texture in there which is not too soft and mushy and my kids love it like that so you can eat this two ways i can push everything off and we can eat it like that or we can just bite it from the stick let me eat it the good old-fashioned way and growing up i always love kebabs and i always used to think of it as a like a summer dish but then getting my own family i realized that you don't have to wait until summer so cheers guys Mm. the barbecue sauce so nice and so tasty so delicious i can taste that red onion perfectly done and have a nice delicious flavor that lemon lemon pepper flavor so amazing so guys don't wait for summer enjoy some of your barbecue dishes right in your own kitchen oven it tastes so beautiful and i have a glass of mabi to go with that so cheers guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet i hope you'll consider subscribing until then i want to say stay blessed stay safe bye for now